morning everybody, this is the first Jeep Mod. This is the first video in a series of installations that are going to be done here at Four Wheel Parts, putting in some stuff for the Jeep. Today we're doing an 8 button switch pod that's going to control all the lights and other stuff that's going to be put in in the future. Uh, the switch pod looks like this. They're just buttons. I believe they illuminate. Do they illuminate, Jake? What? Or you don't always illuminate, do you? Yes, they do. This video is going to be looking at us trying to put in the wiring to get this in. This is Chris, and what are you doing right now, Chris? Well, right now I'm just disconnecting all the existing wires just so that they're not powered when I go to pull the wires through for the S-Pod. On the outside, we'll do a satin on the trim piece with black uh, black nuts. Wait, this day? Yeah. We're not doing those on this. No, no, we're doing these. No, we're doing more than spiders. We're gonna do them awesome though. Wish I could, you know, simulate some explosions in the background or some flames or something. I can simulate an explosion. But yeah. What are you cooking? Now we're cooking with Crisco. Oh. <laughs> So now, what I can start doing now that I've got these all tied together is I can start putting everything back. This S-Pod has a bracket so it mounts, it just kind of hovers right the, there above right the, the yeah, that's cool. So that's basically what you're doing is you're just putting these little forks on the, on the tabs for switch three, since switch three right here, the grill lights, that would be all your little pods. Did you get run through? Yeah. I assume so since you're bolting that down. See that or I gave up, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, well, that, that S pod that you got, it's all wireless now. <laughs> Earlier, it just kind of looked like a spaghetti bowl when I started pulling stuff off, but we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. Yeah. Because we're not about that. Here. This is kind of the fun part. Well, actually, the fun part is putting this back on sometimes, but uh, you're going to take off the other side. If we have to take off the other side, too, to get them off. Like oh, we, we will, because they run down the other side. So I'll just take off that other mirror for you now. Basically what we've done here is we've gone all the way up the existing wire and basically just zip tied it to the existing wire so that when it folds up, it folds up nice. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll just kind of loop this up in here inside the, inside the trim piece and it'll come out the bottom. Yep. All right, so we've been trying to get all of our wires to fit up here in the center. And since we have this S-Pod, and that cable is so thick in conjunction with my USB I'm trying to do, it's not quite enough room. So we're gonna cut a little bit of extra space in that hole. Let's try that. So we finally got room up there, cut a little bit of extra room. Now it's all nice and tucked. So that more or less is where the switch pod's going to go. You lied about the moment of truth. Yeah, I did. Well, and anyway, I gotta make sure these guys are quiet first, so. Yeah. We gotta have our Griswold family moment for this Christmas season. Before I go. <laughs> yeah. it does <laughs> this is all the weight that we just reduced. Yeah. Body fat Good job. Good job, dude. Okay. Right, see what's on. You got red, number one. You got red at one and two. You got one, two, and three. One, two, and four. All right, so it's completely functional. Unfortunately, it looks like that the panel does not have a Bluetooth module connected at all. It's supposed to go right here next to the ethernet connections. And uh, once I get one, then I can actually control it and uh, change the button mapping. So uh, I won't be able to do it wirelessly or do some custom settings, but it does work. And right now we're just gonna put it all back together. 
Thanks, Chris. It looks awesome. You did a good job. No problem. Anytime, Walter. All right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little video of us putting in the S pod. There will be more mods in the future. I want to tell you what the next one planned is going to be, but more than that, I want you to come see what it is. So, check out the next Ruby Tuesday for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.